One of the clear messages which I have been trying to impart to my colleagues in the European Parliament and to Prime Minister David Cameron in the UK is how important it is to have a stable partner in Tajikistan in this very sensitive corner of the world. And the discussion we had with President Ramon uh, simply served to uh, underline the importance of this friendship and this cooperation which we hope to continue and to enhance between the EU and uh, Tajikistan. Yesterday our delegation visited Rogun. This again was my third visit to Rogun. Uh, I have also in the past visited Nurek and we had uh, intensive discussions about the situation in Rogun. We are now awaiting uh, the World Bank report. I hope the World Bank report will come quickly and I hope it will be a positive report. I think it is essential that Ragun uh, is realized as a good project and for Tajikistan it's absolutely necessary. And yesterday afternoon we flew by helicopter to the border with Afghanistan where we met General Sherali, the head of uh, the border uh, control officers and we had an in-depth presentation from him on the success of the border control uh, of narcotics and counter-terrorism. We were told that in the last 12 years the border control uh, troops have stopped 73 tons of narcotics from entering Tajikistan from Afghanistan. Half of that was heroin. A great deal of those narcotics would be heading towards Europe. So stopping that amount, that quantity of narcotics, five tons so far this year, is saving lives in the European Union. General Sherrily told us how they have had six armed incidents so far this year, two of his officers have been killed by drug smugglers. Two days ago they had an armed incident where they killed two Afghan drug smugglers and uh, they captured weapons and five kilos of drugs. So the message that I want to take back to my colleagues in the European Parliament is that Tajikistan is providing an absolutely essential service by stopping drugs, by controlling uh, the influx of terrorism, uh, and we must recognize this role of Tajikistan and pay more respect uh, and actually give more financial assistance to the Tajik government. And during that year, I had to travel to all five of the Central Asian republics looking at the, particularly the water uh, issues affecting the upstream and downstream countries. Went to the Aral Sea, uh, to Moynak, and saw for myself this former fishing port, which used to land 33,000 tons of fish every year, and now the sea is more than 100 kilometers away from Moynak. But on my journey to Moynak from uh, Nukus, I saw cotton fields, rice paddies, with unlimited use of water uh, in a way that was very careless, a lot of water being wasted. I saw how 90 reservoirs have been built in the downstream countries, 40 of them in Uzbekistan, and many of these reservoirs are earth-lined instead of concrete-lined, allowing a great deal of water seepage and water is being lost. And then I came to Tajikistan and visited Nurek and could see a dam built with an uh, embankment over 300 meters high made of stone and clay which has stood for 40 years with no problem. So to visit Rogun and understand that uh, the embankment at Ragun would be built in the same way, 320 meters high, from stone and clay, upstream from Nurek, 
I cannot understand where the problem arises. I cannot see why people object to this. This cannot possibly cause any problem. And it will not deny water going to the downstream countries. If Rugun becomes fully operational, it will produce 3,200 megawatts of electricity. This will supply all of the electricity needs for Tajikistan, and you will be able to export electricity to Afghanistan, to Pakistan, to help rebuild their economies. Other countries have oil, gas, mineral resources to sell. Tajikistan's main resource is water. It therefore seems to me very unfair that you are not allowed to exploit this resource in a way that would benefit your people. So I am really looking forward to a speedy resolution of this problem with a positive report from the World Bank experts that will enable the uh, contract to resume and enable Ragun to be built. To answer your question, I am in favor of Ragun. First of all, the stopping of the project uh, is not entirely accurate. The World Bank asked that the uh, work should only include maintenance uh, to maintain Ragun in the way the Soviets uh, left it when the Soviet Union collapsed, not to do any new work. So the position now is that new work has been stopped awaiting the outcome of the World Bank report. But let's be uh, frank about this. Rugun is a very expensive project, so a positive report from the World Bank would be a good way of enabling money to be borrowed to complete this project. A negative report will make it very difficult. So I think a positive evaluation would be to everyone's benefit. The problem is, stopping any new work being done means that several thousand skilled workers have been laid off and they will not stay in Tajikistan. Many of them will go to other countries to find work. So even if we get a positive report from the World Bank, it may be difficult to start the contract again with a skilled workforce. It may take some months, some years, before we can get the full workforce uh, back on the ground. So we want to see the evaluation report from the World Bank to come as quickly as possible in order that we can start uh, work again on Ragun. In the meantime, we are looking with some interest at the possibility of uh, starting the project with only two operating turbines and a 100 meter high embankment. That would produce 1200 megawatts, enough to supply the whole of Tajikistan with electricity. But I think we have to discuss with the experts whether this would be a, a real possibility. I think from uh, the European Parliament point of view, it would be interesting to see two turbines in operation to reassure the downstream neighbours of Tajikistan that there is no problem. In the European Parliament, uh, opinions, of course, are divided about uh, all of these issues. And this is uh, the same when it applies to Ragun. We have many people in the European Parliament who think Ragun is not a good idea. We have to persuade them uh, that it is a good idea. And that's why it's so important that we bring delegations from the European Parliament to visit Tajikistan to see the reality of Ragun. And then we go back and we can report to our colleagues and try to educate them and persuade them that uh, Ragun is safe uh, and it's necessary for the future of Tajikistan. Sometimes when you are given uh, an analysis by a doctor, you ask for a second opinion. But in the case of Ragun, uh, I think it's very difficult to ask for a second opinion from the European Commission when the World Bank themselves have appointed technical experts who are not political, 
they are not going to take sides with Uzbekistan or Tajikistan. They are looking at Ragun purely from an expert point of view. I'm not an engineer, but to me it seems obvious that Ragun is going to provide green energy without uh, CO2 emissions, which is what everybody in the world now is striving for. And it seems to me, built, being built upstream from Nurek, it cannot possibly uh, be a threat to any of the downstream countries. So I sincerely hope that the experts from France who have been appointed by the World Bank will come to the same conclusion as me. I was told the first time I visited Ragun in 2010 that the analysis of experts from the World Bank was expected in December that year. Last year when I visited Ragun and 9,000 people were working there, it was a hive of activity and I was told the World Bank report had been delayed, but they were anticipating it by the end of last year. And yesterday, when I visited Ragun, I was disappointed to find that 5,000 people have lost their jobs. They and their families now have no income. This is a socio-economic disaster. And I can assure you that the first thing I will do when I return to Europe at the weekend is to write to the World Bank and to the European Commission asking why this decision has been taken now and why they cannot hurry up the re response in order that we can start work again on Ragun before these 5,000 people disperse around the whole of Central Asia and disappear. So thank you very much. I have a flight leaving at 10.30, so I really have to go fast now, otherwise we miss our plane.